Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, um, I was shuffling off camera. I was just shuffling. And then uh, the Stevie Wonder song, I believe, uh, came to mind. Um, it, it goes like, um, what is it? I don't want to bore you with my troubles. I think. But there's something about your love that makes me weak and so I don't know. It's something about your love that makes somebody weak and it knocks them off their feet. All right. So take some time. We'll listen to that song. I don't know if that's how you feel about somebody or if that's how somebody feels about you. But definitely somebody feels that way about you. I hadn't heard that song in forever. Um, let's see what's going on here. Somebody. Okay. So Donnell Jones remixed the song. I don't know if you've heard that version. So it's like, I don't know if somebody wants to remix or remake something with you. Okay. Redo. Re re. They want to just do it over. They want a chance. A do over. What do we have going on for Aquarius? Uh, yeah. Page of Cups. Talks about um, the Page of Cups needing to be more romantic so somebody wants to be romantic someone wants to romanticize you or show you some romance somebody wants to tell you how much you they you mean to them they mean to you it could be vice versa cross watcher um somebody just really wants to speak their heart you know they have a lot of dreams maybe you're in their dreams or a lot of dreams with you or things that they want to come to fruition but this is also someone here who did not this was like failure to take action somebody did not take action in regards to making the dream true come real come true come real somebody okay somebody did not come real maybe somebody was fake you know um somebody did not make uh did not make things last with you did not speak the truth was not romantic was not giving was not trying to woo you make you fall in love with them they were just there there's also a level of immaturity emotional immaturity someone needing to learn emotional maturity here because someone is extremely uh, immature when it comes to expressing their emotions the three of swords this could be somebody you're not talking to somebody that you departed from they departed from you Divorce, separation, isolation. You go over there, I'm going to go over here. Don't talk to me. I won't talk to you. This is, this breakup, this separation could have come because again, somebody was immature, failure to make something real, to make it true or to be honest and be true. Somebody could have even let a third party stir trouble. You know, stir stir up trouble in the relationship. Now, the third party could be, of course, another love interest, but it could be anybody. It could be anything, but somebody allowed for trouble to happen within a connection. And maybe that's why somebody wants to remake, remix, want to tell you something. What's going on here for the Aquarius? I was not expecting to come out of the gate with love, but here it is. All right, let's see what's going on for Aquarius. The star card, very nice. So, right path get on the right path someone could be looking you up or looking up to you or looking for something that you put out the star card the 11th house technology uh large groups of people dreams again wishes wish fulfillment dreams big dream you know big wishes uh, again someone had that for you with you about you wanted you to be a part of their dreams or this is how you felt in regards to another person um this is a person who needs to declutter their emotions i don't know why i'm getting that like a six of cups type of energy this is somebody who wants forgiveness this is directly related to the strength card wanting you to deal with them in compassion uh, forgiveness uh forgive me give me another chance forgive me and then give me another chance is what i'm hearing uh this is somebody here 
who feels like they have gotten a sense of enlightenment um, since you've been gone is what I heard. Okay. So since you've been gone, someone's gotten a, a sense of enlightenment, clarity. Uh, somebody could have been listening to the crowd, a group of people. Um, someone kept a lot of different energies, a lot of different, uh, you know, love partners, romantic partners around, but they saw you as the one, the star, you, you shine the brightest, but somebody didn't make a decision in regards to you though. Um, they just kept you in the loop or kept you in the, in the rotation. This is what you did Aquarius or what someone did in regards to you. Um, what else do we have here? What else are we, are we seeing? Okay. This card wants to come out the world card. Yeah. Somebody wants to complete something, you know, let it come to a closure and then start over. Someone feels like we've been through it all together. Now it's time to manifest something different, create something new, abundant. The world card can start, can stand for marriage, uh, graduation, uh, starting a new business. I mean, it could be so many different things in the world card, but it, it's, it's definitely close one cycle. Go to the next. Um, you've been through it all through all the major arcana. You've learned the lesson. Now it's time to learn new lesson. Ascend. I heard alignment. Somebody feels like they, they, they want to get in alignment or they are in alignment when they're with you. Someone feels like you are their world or they could have the world with you or they could take on the world with you. Or this is how you feel in regards to someone else you're dealing with. Um, the world card. Or what else can we get gather here? It's like you have to relinquish something. Somebody had to leave something behind before they can actually go to the next level. Yeah, the devil card. Whoa, the devil in the world together talks about somebody learning a major lesson, major life lesson. Um, someone's learned something and now some, it's like um, somebody's learned that maybe they're in love with you. Back to that song, I don't want to bore you. Um, I think with my troubles, but there's something about your love. Um, you know, it, it knocks me off my feet and it makes me weak or something like that somebody's realizing that you know you you they really love you you know um maybe they feared going to the next level with you they feared ascension and maturity because we've got immaturity starting out now we've got maturity coming because of lesson learned maybe someone learned lesson of keeping too many options open too many love partners um being so materialistic uh going after all that glitters um this could even be addiction. Somebody's gotten a hold on something. They have, um, you know, uh, surmounted achievement. Okay. So somebody is uh, overcoming Queen of Pentacles. Someone could view you as a Queen of Pentacles, Aquarius, or this is how you're viewing someone. The quintessential good wife or the good choice. In, in, in terms of a, a wife or a feminine energy, this is the embodiment of the empress. So the empress is an archetype, but the embodiment, the real is the queen of pentacles. You know, the pentacles is the last suit. That's where you want to go. You want to go to manifestation. Someone is realizing that maybe, you know, right before them w was a wife for they found of, they found a good thing. You know, you find a wife, Find a good thing. So someone's realizing your wealth, your worth, your wealth. Okay. What wealth worth? Someone has, um, with the queen of pentacles, this could even be you realizing your worth or your wealth, but this is definitely an energy of where there's another party who wants to say something to you. They want to talk to you and tell you how they feel. Yeah, nine of cups. They're hoping and wishing for you to come back. So if you're wishing for something, you're hoping for something, that means you're without it, right? You don't wish for um, a, a glass of water when it's right in front of you. You have it, right? So uh, this is somebody who's wishing or hoping for something that they are without. They could be wishing and hoping for you, wishing and hoping for better times, good times, happier times, 
thinking about happier, fun times, lively times, luxury, uh, good times. Someone is uh, with the nine of cups here. What is the nine of cups? Someone is wondering if you found emotional st security or security in being by yourself. Ten of Wands. So this relationship was toxic, drama filled. It could have even somebody could have even kept it as sexual nature or could have started that way. And then somebody got feelings, but then they got cold feet. But then it was off and on. But then they were addicted to one way of living or one lifestyle. They didn't know if they wanted commitment. And it just was, I mean, the snowball here with the Ten of Wands. It was just as if someone allowed the other person to do all the work in the relationship and then eventually the energy started to dissipate it started to disperse or dismantle or disseminate it just started to go away like because in the ten of wands it's like you're showing up for something that where you don't know where you're going or where you're headed to so this is showing up for the relationship being engaged in a relationship, trying to make it work, but not even knowing where this is going. Um, this is when two people are not on the same wavelength, don't want the same thing. This could even have been that a relationship started under false pretense or there wasn't a clear, concise uh, outline or in game. It was just, I like you, you like me, let's do something. And then in the midst of that, you realize that you're in love or you're in strong like or you whatever. And now it's become a bit karmic because two people, this is a relationship that starts without intention. So the universe is trying to get all of us to be intentional about everything. Everything that we engage in. You can't just, you can, you can do anything. Okay, let's take that back. Um, it's about engaging in a relationship. If you know that you want marriage and baby and house and dog and longevity, then you don't engage in one night stand and then two night stand and then one year stand. And then you think like, Oh, this is going to turn into a relationship. It didn't start that way. That wasn't the intention. So be intentional in all of your actions and all of your ways. Therefore, you get the desired outcome. When you are unintentional, what do you get? You you were unintentional. So something here started where it was just fun in the sun. It was maybe sex. It was hooking up. It was this. It was that. And now you, you fall in love. Or somebody fell in love, but the other person wouldn't allow themselves to. Now someone is realizing that they're actually in love with you judgment card maybe they want a second chance um revive relive um once again forgiveness make a snap judgment in regards to coming back together being together absolve me of all my wrongdoing all of my hurtful ways all of the things i said or didn't say or did do or didn't do forgive me like really forgive me so that we can you know, dig up the past and then bury it, deal with it and bury it again. That's what the judgment card is about. Somebody could be under strict judgment right now, like karmic judgment, maybe for not showing up, you know, uh, in the best light. We did have the devil card come out. Someone made a, a wrong turn, a wrong choice too extravagant in their choices maybe they didn't make a choice they wanted it all something fell apart somebody left what else do we want to tell aquarius here the two of cups this is all about reconciliation somebody wanted to come back back to the stevie wonder song it's two of cups this could be cancer energy i'm not i don't know if the signs mean anything to you uh capricorn uh, Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpio. I mean, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got the fixed signs. We've got everybody showing up. So, you know, if that means something to you. Uh, Two of Cups, definitely. Two of Cups with the judgment is like, forgive me now, you know, right now. 
just desperation a decision has to be made someone knows that a decision has to be made someone is you know sitting on their hands it could be the person that walked away maybe because they they put too much in the relationship they didn't get what they wanted or they felt like they got swindled taken for a ride and now the person who got left is wanting the person who walked away wanting them to come back wanting them to return forgive them it's funny because they're asking for forgiveness. So it's like they, they're they almost admitting that they did something wrong. Or that they didn't show up in the best light. Or they didn't do this. Or they didn't do that. Or they did do this and they did do that. The Two of Cups says, oh, let bygones be bygones. It's best for us to be together. I am now seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship. This also could be a new spiritual path. Somebody could have said, you know what? This relationship really pushed me into spirituality, into my own spirituality. So, you know, that's what I'm embarking on now. A new spiritual path. While the other person uh, in this relationship is wanting, you know, that energy back. Wanting the relationship back. Wanting to recover it. Uh, but the decision is not theirs. It's, it's the person who walked away. It's the person who's done. It's the person who said, this is too burdensome. I'm going to let it just kind of dissolve. And I'm going to take that energy and put it somewhere else. And it could have been in learning spirituality. Meditation is what I'm here. Knight of Cups. It's definitely um, somebody is just like, please allow me to come back. Like right now, not Knight of Cups. So they could be guided to being coming coming back to you. The Knight of Cups is under the guidance of the uh, Hierophant. So there was opposition. It could have been third party situation. There is bad blood between you and this person. Um, maybe not even communication, little to no communication between you and said individual. This person is wanting to, again, back to romance, make you fall in love with them. Fall, fall, fall. Oh, something about that word, fall in love, or that phrase. Hmm. I don't know if they want you to be emotional about this. They want you to get back into your emotions and come out of logic. They don't want you to think logical about this. They they want the standoff or the standstill to end. This person is still guarded or, or they see you as still guarded, Aquarius. Or guarded. They just see you as guarded. Like you're, you're just not. It causes all the love that may be. Both of men and women. So it's like, yeah, this person wants you to fall in love. Or they want to cause you to be in love. They want to be the cause of you, you know, falling in love, being in love, starting love. Seven of Pentacles. Mercury. Excuse me, not Mercury. Saturn. So you may have been separated again back to the maturity issue here lack of maturity so the universe separates you puts you both in your respective corners um so that you can evaluate reevaluate for some of you you've been here before i don't think somebody in this equation feels like this relationship is not over you know it's just a a, a pause a break a gestation period before we come back together. Yes, it's frustrating, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to finish what I started. It's not over. This is also this person pining over you. Like, just can't get over it. Can't get over you. This is um, when love meets guilt. So this person is guilty. Because we got a lot of cards of forgiveness and coming back together and give me second chance and, you know, go back to the Stevie Wonder song. 
but this is a person who's guilty and they love you. So I love you, and but I'm guilty of. Please absolve me, judgment card, forgive me, uh, wipe the slate clean, um, take me out of contempt, take me out of holding, let me back in. And only you, Aquarius, can make the decision of me coming back in is what somebody is saying. Now, what does this person really want with the Aquarius? That's the key, right? Like, you can want to come back in, but what the f do you want? Let's see, what does this person want? The death card. Complete transition. This person is afraid to come to you and talk to you. Again, that's why the decision is on you, Aquarius. When I ask the card, sometimes I do this by myself. I say, what card? means that a person is afraid to come and talk to the other and always get the death card so, so this person is afraid to come and talk to you especially with the death card meaning that there, there's an ending to a relationship uh sometimes the death card can even talk about a temporary ending like there's a break a pause and then somebody goes through you know death and rebirth and then you come back together um yeah Let's see. What does this person want with the Aquarius, the death card? So they're afraid to talk to you. They feel like they want to come back to you. Maybe they want complete transition or, or transformation. Okay. Uh, what, is they, what do they want? The Knight of Wands. Okay. So they want something to happen fast, charisma, spontaneous. Okay. So they want the ending of something wanted to maybe the separation to end quickly with the knight of wands um the knight of wands is not romantic but it is passionate maybe they want a passionate renewal what does this person want with the aquarius five of swords this is not looking good queen of wands so this person wants to come in and maybe sexmatize you like have sex with you so they want the ending of a separation by way of a passionate encounter five of swords that takes something in reverse or reversal or backwards this person may feel like if they come in very passionate sexual steamy then the temporary the the separation here in the five of swords the bad blood will go away. It will dissipate. It don't leave. It, it, it's temporary anyway. Somebody feels like, okay, if I come in with the passion and the sex, I won't have to deal with the five of swords. I won't have to deal with the tough conversation. I won't have to deal with Aquarius sharpening their words. The five of swords talks about sharpen your words. You need to stand up for yourself. I don't know if somebody's trying to pacify you, woo you, sway you. Uh, the queen of wands. She's the queen about sex. She's typically the one with her legs open, you know, in regards to sex. Um, desire also can make any man subject to one's demands. So this person wants to come back and like sexual energy get you to you know be under their spell again queen of wands can be witchy little witchy poo but her witchery is about physicality seduction um it's like i want to seduce you aquarius what last two cards for what this Excuse me, what this person wants. Two of Pentacles. I don't they just want to keep shit up in the air. They want to keep you, you know, not focused. Um this card talks about uh change. Reconciles friends and enemies. So this person wants to reconcile again back to that change. So they want the change of things still being up in the air, you juggling the decision to allow them back in your life. They want that to end with the death card they want that to change they want you to 
reconcile it within your mind that it's okay to allow them to come back. What else does this person want with the Aquarius? Four of Swords, healing, um, definitely want to come out of um, separation. They're going to talk about the future with the Four of Swords. What else do they want? Okay, these cards just flipped up. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords. This is this is not good energy. Okay, okay so they told me to ask these questions. Okay. Well done. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords. So it's like come out of separation. Five of Wands. I don't know if they want to fight for what they want with you. But then following the Eight of Swords. Just not the best energy. They could feel like you have a lot of options now. And they could be a bit um, apprehensive about being vulnerable with you because they feel like they'll get their feelings hurt because there are other players involved here. But let's ask these questions. Let's get even more distinct here. What is this person offering the Aquarius? Because this is what they want. So it's like they want to come out of separation. They want to have sex with you. They want to, you know, you to forgive them and make the decision on them. But what is this person offering the Aquarius? Because relationships, believe it or not, people have to be mutually beneficial. You can't just do all the work. Um, One person can't just do all the work. All right, let's see. What is this person offering the Aquarius? first card out the ace of wands okay so they're offering um okay back to you know passion sex fun excitement cosmic energy so you can get cosmic energy going by movement what do you do when you, you when you you can rub two bodies okay you're in dip. i don't know <laughs> This is what they're offering. The Ace of Wands. They're offering that wand. That WAP. I don't know. Something here. Let's see. Um, what else? I'm just trying to see if I can gather anything else from the Ace of Wands. This is doing. This is doing. Getting fired up. You know, what else can this person offer the Aquarius? Six of Swords, okay. Peace, calm, serenity, back to reconcile. So they can offer reconciliation. True reconciliation comes from uh, confessing, you know, your shortcomings with one another. So confessing that, okay, I'm not a, the best communicator, Oh, I'm, I, I don't know how to be in a relationship. I don't know how to be in a one-on-one -on -one connection. I don't know what. So that's true reconciliation for c confess your sins to one another, you know. Um, so this person can offer you that, the six of swords. They can offer you peace of mind or they, this is what they want to offer. This is what they, okay, so this is what they will offer. Let's see what else. The knight of pentacles. Okay. So maybe they will offer a more committed way of um, being in a relationship. We've got Taurus and Aries coming up. Maybe even a little Gemini. Uh, Aquarius coming up. Let's see. So this person can offer commitment, devotion, solidarity. Whatever it is, they ain't going nowhere. Even if they mess up, they're not going anywhere. With the Knight of Pentacles, they're stuck, dogged, you know, just, you know, they're unmovable here. Almost like the Emperor with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, they may want to date you for a while. Let's see, what what is this person offering? The Aquarius. They may even be offering travel with the Knight of Pentacles. Definitely her devotion. Devotion. 
look that up and see what that means see oh oh oh, oh. okay so the temperance card came out now this is the card i get when i ask the cards what card signifies that a couple will come back together reconcile and stay together temperance card so this person could really want to do something right oh i see this yeah okay for some of you you know you're you you know your story you know your life i do not okay i'm just reading the cards if it get in where you fit in all right so temperance card talks about a healthy wealthy marriage point blank period it talks about um enlightenment it talks about um true consciousness or christ consciousness or a higher level of consciousness it talks about the yin the yang the male the female masculine feminine energy held together by the divine okay so it talks about a very blessed union okay it talks about um a different uh a different way of existing of uh, balance also this person can offer you balance uh maybe they do balance you out so this is what i was getting off not off camera but so these cards fell out and then you know spirit was like okay five of swords page of swords nine of wands this person can offer you uh, the opportunity to trust again to let your guard down maybe for some of you even learn like tactfulness or um this is definitely trust again they can help you learn to trust you you have all reason to not trust you know your trust issues are valid but the world doesn't owe you understanding you got to go and fix that about you you don't trust because somebody hurt you okay so what are you gonna do about it um they can offer you something about next level don't give up before the blessing actually happens and then this is what comes out the nine of cups and the hermit so it's like I'm a, if because no one person is to say that the relationship was toxic it the toxicity doesn't just weigh to one side you know um now this you know one person could be you know more unhealthy for the other but toxicity it, it has to exist in the in the in the vacuum of okay it's something that has attracted that toxicity so there's something in you that is allowing it maybe you're an enabler you you feel like you deserve toxic unhealthy relationship i don't know but it's something there so it's like this person the cards are saying this person can offer you an opportunity to have true balance within yourself true acceptance compromise a healthy wealthy marriage um it, it, they can offer you the opportunity to where you can let your guard down with the five of swords where you know you can stop the fight um you can end the fight or you can they're going to help you you know mitigate mediate the fight and you both are like-minded individuals you can get on the same page or they're going to help you or they can help you get on the same page within you know the relationship maybe this is individual work though like you have to do this by yourself they can help you let the, they can help you learn how to mitigate through tough times in a relationship through adversity it's not always about being the first to cut or cut away or leave um because this is putting distance between you i don't know if you play the game of 
you know, I will threaten you with my presence, meaning I'll just leave, you know, and, and leave you in that. So maybe, so for some of you, you might do that. I don't know. Or this other person does that, vice versa. Somebody's going to help somebody get over the immaturity because that is immature. That is not dealing with uh, adversity. That is fighting either this is the five of swords either verbally fighting or this is walking away and not speaking your peace and going completely dark or silent um while still looking back with the nine of wands here this is running and then in hopes that somebody will chase this person can help you get over or they want to get over or what they're offering is that they're not going to be, you know, if you allow it, because it has to be, you guys have to be working together with the temperance card there. You guys can be in a relationship where there's not runner and chaser anymore. You, you get exactly what you want. Nine of cups, emotional fulfillment, happiness, l life of luxury, even fame or acclaim. Um, a new life, luxurious style of living, um, traditional relationship, marriage, a big wedding could be forecast for some of you. Um, guidance, uh, a guide, law, order, structure, regimen, routine. So I don't know this person could offer that to you. Because it looked like maybe something happened with them in, in terms of they got they finally got something or some awakening, some some change may have happened. They may have cut something off. Yep. Oh, they cut something off or cut it out. Yeah. And they want to come back to you and tell you how they have gone from um, King of Cups to Emperor. This last time that you walked away from them, it uh, triggered something in them. I, th I don't know if you did something different this time. Like, maybe you didn't say anything or, I don't know, whatever this was, you did something different. You initiated it, though. You initiated the walking away. This person could feel you, your emotions leaving them. They couldn't feel you anymore. Where they, they had to go and through that self-analysis they had to analyze their behavior their self right um and then without all the distractions in their life they came some to some determination and they made some irrevocable inevitable change and maybe they want to come back because they're being guided by the hierophant the knight of swords and when you back when you over because now they are the emperor ready now they are the archetype the divine masculine the healed divine masculine and they see that you are the embodiment of the empress the queen of pentacles wow somebody you know somebody could be ready i don't know let me know if it resonates for you you know um believe if, if if this is what you want, if you want reconciliation, true reconciliation, you know, confess your shortcomings to one another. All right, let's see. Um, what is the future energy for the Aquarius? What is the future energy? Courtship. All right, so y'all, some of y'all coming into a relationship. Okay. <laughs> Invite me to the wedding. Let's see. Wow, lovers. So this is definitely, so the courtship talks about dating with purpose. We talked about the unintentional, we're just hooking up and down the line. Oh, I'm in love with you. Hmm. Um, oh, and by the way, I want a family and, and two kids and a dog. I met you in a bar at 3 a.m. a year ago. You said none of this. But anyway, uh, we're here now. Um. Not to say that it, you know, it can't happen like that, but it's very tough when you are not dating with intention and you just hooking up, you know, it's very tough to transition that energy. 
So anyway, um, some of you are going to be in a relationship, solid one, where you guys are dating with intentions. This could be meeting someone new. This could even be reconciliation. The lovers here is very passionate. Okay. This is coming together. This is soulmate. This is, um, could even be twin flame. Wow. Distant horizons, dreams, hopes, wishes coming true. Well, this card is close to the significator card or the first card. It says that it could, it, it could very well happen soon. Um, it's de it, but it says it's definitely going to happen. The distant horizon. It's like, so this card talks about spirituality, philosophy. Somebody really woke the fuck up. I don't know if it was you, Aquarius, or somebody else. But they woke up in, in solidarity because the three and the six is nine. So they were by themselves. They weren't with you. They weren't having you send them tarot card readings and tell them that you're there there you know that you are their divine feminine or divine masculine no they woke up all by themselves because maybe you went away because we had the ace of swords you know beyond the distractions they've kept come to the truth of the matter you know so this is really good what else do we have going on for the quick expectation i think some of you are expecting this person to come back or you want this person to come back it is okay to want your ex okay let's just talk about this because we get so many people in the comment section hit dogs holler all the time i don't want my ex no one asked you if you did so you go somewhere and deal with it but it is okay if you do in the first step to getting over something and really dealing with it is being truthful about it if you want your ex you want your ex so let's let's drill down on that firstly admit i do want my ex right then you have to ask yourself why do i want my ex so so you just reductive reasoning so you go to reduce it reduce it reduce it so that you can come to some clarity but you know trying to convince yourself in random people in the comment section that you don't want your ex is absolutely asinine uh, and a bit scary so um Let's not do that. Even if you don't want your ex, just keep it to yourself. Just quietly exit stage left. So, um, so some of you are expecting this person to come back. Uh, we've got mature woman falling out. Six, you're expecting them to come back. Mature. Maybe if you're waiting for a feminine energy. Yes, it could be masculine. Also, 10 is masculine energy with the 28 there. Could be expecting. Um, some of you were already ready for your person. Your person wasn't ready for you. Male or female. Um, you're ready for them to come back and balance something out. Be fair. Uh, make adjustment. Okay, I don't know where it does. Make adjustment. Whatever that means. Yeah, message of concern. You ready for them to um maybe tell the truth so that you guys can get through the adversity you're ready to have some tough conversation maybe do the hard work in manifesting you know something better new in this relationship this relationship was hard work also with toil and labor you're expecting them to be come back solid and they're expecting you to make, again, that two coming up, that 20, a decision. The decision lies with you. It rests with you, Aquarius. You may even be expecting them that you want some public declaration or public acknowledgement. You want some real change. And change may be happening fast. Some some of your people got rid of like pesky or petty things that they needed to get rid of in their life or maybe even a pesky petty other person third party relationship that was only about so this person had like a rotation of sexual partners and that's who they wanted to be officially known as but now somebody has, is ascending and somebody sees your worth. Again, Aquarius, you got this coming out so many times with so many different cards. Seeing you as a privileged lady or privileged man. Seeing you have high honor. 
you know, um, somebody's also seeing you getting public recognition. They wanting you to decide on them, to communicate with you, to reconcile with you, to hear them out. They may be giving you a message in seven days or seven weeks, but seven days in that message card is good news or they want to share good news with you or they want to say something to you. They're slipping in deep. They're slipping into deep concern, maybe even a bit of depression, overthinking. They're very occupied with. Some of your people are trapped in karmic situations where somebody's after their money. They don't want to let the relationship go because they, they go to poverty. They go to a different social economic status or some of your people were like paying for sex also or they were like dealing with people who typically typically get paid for sex somebody has sex addiction they were trapped in that they let this go somebody's sexuality was in question or someone wasn't sure about What else do we have here uh, uh, coming for the Aquarius? A wealthy man. So that's the counterpart to the privileged woman. So it's definitely a relationship here. It just seemed like a lot of people, a lot of things got in the way. It looks like somebody wants to turn over a new leaf. Do something different. Maybe make a small gesture, token of, of love, declaration. Your person could be taller than you or bigger than you or vice versa. Yeah, somebody wants to go in a new direction here. There's still an energy of there's something lingering here. It could be a person. Your your person could be trying to get away from a lifestyle or a person a specific person who just won't let them go um what is aquarius person having to let go of what are they having to let go of queen of swords six of cups six of pentacles four of cups um the hermit card this could be a lifestyle you know let go of some certain philosophy that they have around sharing this is sharing this is caring your person could have you know been brought up in a survival type of energy where you know only the strong survive people you don't show your emotions or they were brought up in a, a situation where people didn't show love, didn't show their emotions. People weren't, you didn't come off as weak. Your person is having to let go of that mindset. Some deep seated issues from the past some childhood trauma. They're needing to connect backwards. In regards to their philosophy, in regards to sharing their emotions, once again, emotional maturity is coming up for your person. They may think that they're emotionally mature, but they are extremely emotionally immature. Something about sharing. Something about weakness. Like if I tell you I love you, if I, if I do this for you, if I show up like this for you, then it makes me vulnerable weak and i could be taken advantage of your person got a real effed up mind a truly emotionally mature person understands that i can tell you how i feel i can show you how i feel if you do not reciprocate i am so um sound in my emotions that i know how to cut dry i know that i need to withdraw because if i continue to run the gamut on giving, 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 then I'll be depleted and I'll feel powerless. But a true emotionally mature person, you know, they know when when to hold them, when to fold them. They know when to show love and when not to. But somebody who 
is in a mindset of I'm just not gonna show any love because I'm scared that if I show too much love, then I'm gonna take advantage of, and then I'm gonna not stop, and then I'm gonna be run over by emotions. What the hell? This is is it's completely crazy. I don't know. Your person is just not comfortable showing emotions. They have to change their whole philosophy, a transition of personality with the hermit card. Learn something. Learn how to be with one person, one-on-one relationship, accept what is being offered. Oh, they don't even know how to accept emotions and accept love. They don't know how to accept it. They don't know how to give it. They feel like it's a endless faucet. Once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. It's just like, no, you know. People don't reciprocate. You just calmly, you know, walk away. That is temperance. You know, that is when you know when to be, you know, masculine. And the masculine energy is projecting outward. And you know when to be feminine. And you're inward. It's a circle. You're not giving anything out. It's within you. So this person hasn't learned emotionally emotional balance or emotional maturity and they're scared of their emotions because they just haven't learned that it's it's more safe to just act like they don't have feelings for anybody or anything or not show their true emotions because that once again they feel like it's a faucet once it gets turned on they don't know how to turn it off and you know they'll get drained and, and maybe they have these all kinds of fears about that but it's like this person wants to Learn how to share their life with you. Yeah, learn how to share their life with you. This person has to also learn how to cut out all this different energy. They keep up a lot of different energy around them, a lot of different people, because you don't have to be genuine. You don't have to be real with anybody if you just got a lot of it. You know, if you have a lot of people that you, they're definitely keeping a circle of people. Uh, a rotation they can just give a little piece here a little piece there secret um, relationships maybe even something about their sexuality again a circle of women this could be a ladies man this could be a woman who this is a woman who um so she she may talk to a lot of different men. Her angle is getting money or getting resources, you know, from these different guys. This person focuses a lot on work or work on themselves or, yeah, or how they look or working out or. They withdraw from people who don't completely fulfill them too until these people kind of like beg them to come back into their lives or they get kind of testy or feisty with them. Like you haven't answered my call, but you didn't return my text. And they like that energy of being like fought over or, you know, be like begged in love. But it looks like Aquarius, they may feel like you or number one, you don't do that. Or you're you're okay with shutting out, even if this person has a lot to offer you, resourceful. Like even if they are like wealthy, rich. Even if they they look good or wealthy, rich, you don't have a problem closing up shop, shutting them off. This person could want to come to you and offer apology. They could feel karmically indebted to you to do this. Like, like there's a, a debt. You you may have been very good to them. You were right or righteous. You you know you did the right thing. They did the wrong thing because the justice card talks about making something right. Um. Yeah, this is a, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do, Aquarius. They may be showing up. Well, let's close it out with their next moves. What is this person's next move? 
And this could be vice versa if you're a cross watcher here, watching for the Aquarius. Um, let's see, what is this person's next move? All right, we'll use this deck. Let's see, what is this person's next move? All right, let's see. Three shuffles. Let's see. Okay. What is this person's next move towards the Aquarius? The Nine of Swords. So they no move. Um, they can't. They're just going to think about this over and over. Whatever happened between the two of you, they're going to think about it over and over and over. Analysis, paralysis, sleepless, restlessness. The devil card. This person could be, you know, paralyzed. Fear. Shame. Regret. Definitely shame. King of Swords, so they're going to just be kind of cut off to the to their emotions. Their next move is just, you know, um, maybe to kind of drill down into their work, whatever it is they do for work. Yeah, they're going to be more so concerned about work and. Making choices, um, cut off from their emotions. They're just gonna be really logical. They may even be waiting for King of Pentacles. This is somebody. Okay, back to some of you guys. These are my two cards when somebody's confused about their sexual orientation, sexuality. This person, then we've got a choice here. I don't know, this person could be holding back from you because that did come up in the cards, you know, in terms of their sexuality. They're not even sure, you know, if they want your sex, if you're male or a female. What is this? What is when is this person's next move towards the Aquarius? They're really cut off from their emotions. They're really mechanical, mathematical at this time, at this point. Um, carnal. Ace of Cups. Uh, this looks like this is a person who's still on their journey. Might needing, they need to kind of like dig into spirituality. The Ace of Cups. They may just have a big cup of love for you. Four of Wands. I heard proud for you or, or proud of you. But it's in the background. He has Seven of Swords. Can't make it up. So somebody's masquerading around. They're trying very hard to go undetected. So they could be looking at you, looking at what you're doing. They're happy for you. But they're in the background. This is somebody who's devising a plan or there's deception behind them. They may not be coming to you because there's like this person could be confused about their sexual sexuality, sexual orientation, whatever it is. They, you know, something's going on here that is beyond you or anything that you can do. They don't want to. What is two more cards? This is. Too much. King of Wands. Whew. A lot of masculine energy. Two of Cups. The twos are under the High Priestess. The High Priestess says, when you know a decision has to be made, this person has to really decide. So they're going to really have to cut something off and cut it out. This talks about loss of friendship with the Seven of Swords also. It could be that this person has to cut out maybe the four of wands. It's, that's my like circle of women. Let me have like a circle of women if they do. This might even be something who's bisexual, but they lean towards the emperor. Jeez, this is so masculine. This could even be. What is this? Is this. Is 
has to do with sexuality, the queen of wands, toxicity or karmic relationship. I was like, does this have anything to do with ascension? This is everything to do with, like, yeah, two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is having two choices. You know, you have to decide on one. So that means you have to cut one out off, be done with it. It is not readily accessible anymore. This could be, yeah, this could definitely be sexual. This is somebody has to meditate on what they really want. Interesting energy, Aquarius. Let me know how it resonates for you. Um, okay, so um, some of you, your 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 person can have. Okay, they have run the gamut of sex partners, whether it be male or female. You know, they have a high level or a high sex drive, or they've had a lot of sex in their life. To the point where now they're looking for a new high or a new enlightenment. And if that comes by way of same sex relationship or sexual ship, you know, sexual relationship, then they, they'll go after it. It's just like they, it's like, I don't know, that. that's what the universe wanted to tell. I don't know. This is, um, yeah, this is a lot. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Um, secret big 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 secret not speaking about how they really feel they feel like they need to let go of something yep six of cups this person could have had been touched in the past in their upbringing in their childhood they feel shame Five of Cups reveals secrets and increases one intellect. It spreads destruction. Yeah, this is, um, they feel shame here in regards to what it is they, they really like. Ooh, this is, I didn't expect to go here. We, oh my God, this is an hour in. Oh, we gotta go. Yeah, they really have to put it into something. The coffin coming out. It's something that, this is a masculine energy and despair. Shame. I told you they feel shame. Despair coming out. Because they they are of high honor. If this gets out, they don't know how to present this or present something. They really want to change something. So this is a person who may like having a relationship with one sex, but having actual sexual uh intercourse contact with the other sex so it was like if i'm a man i like having a relationship with a woman but i like having sex with a man or, or vice, vice versa petty little pesky details about sexuality the bad health card can sometimes talk about sex it's the only card that has a bed in it. Having to work out these little kinks. Maybe even ascend. Go to some. Learn how to. Suppress their desires. <laughs> Can't make it up. Because maybe somebody likes to have a relationship with a man and woman. But having sex with. <laughs> Whoa. And somebody's trying to really come to a place of. Trying to figure this out. Hear me out. I'm getting out of here. This is too much for my soul. But um, I understand. Um, if it resonates for you. If you stay this long. Click the like button. Let me know how it resonates for you. What part resonated for you. Um, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask questions right now by texting your question to the number below. 
you know, is this my person? Do they have, you know, different sexual fantasy about same sex, opposite sex? I don't know. Um, anything. Uh, or just catch me live and you can ask questions there also. Did I tell you when I'm live? I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.